going to open a new file and this one I'm going to look at some of the images that I downloaded today off the internet. I've got Steve Solomon here. Steve Solomon who ran um, in the finals today at the Olympics in London. Now what we need to do for um, Steve is we need to make a new file that is 940 by 627. So back to Photoshop. We've got File, New, and it will call it Steve Solomon. And the size is going to be 940, and the height is going to be 627. We're going to have an RGB color, and we're going to have a transparent background. Go OK to that. And then, because I've got him in my downloads, I come to File, and I go Place, and in the dialog box that comes up, I choose my uh, downloads. And I'm looking for Steve Solomon. So here we down here under S. Here we go, Steve Solomon. And I'll go place. And there we have Steve sitting gloriously in the middle of the screen. Just press your enter key or click the tick at the top of the screen to accept that. Now, what I like to do here is I like to duplicate the layer. So it's Command-J, I've got a new layer. I'm going to turn that bottom layer off. Okay, you can't tell, but now I'm back working in the top layer. But what I want to do is I want to use the Quick Selection tool today. So come up here to the fourth from the top on your toolbar and click the, tick, click the Quick Selection tool. When you click on that again, you'll see you've got the Magic Wand tool and the Quick Selection tool. We want the Quick Selection tool. Now up here we can, in the, in the very top menu, it gives us a dialog that allows us to control the size of the cutout that it's going to make. It's currently at 7 pixels. You can put a number in there or you can dry, drag the slider along. I think probably 25 pixels, 24 pixels, um, with a fairly sharp or a fairly hard edge is going to help here. So if you were doing something that was cloudy or dusty or you wanted a soft edge to it, you'd take the hardness down to a very low hardness. But because of, we've got Steve's muscles and his body showing here, we want a nice hard edge to show that off. So just click out of that and it'll vanish. And control D before we start that. Now, just drag. And because it's a good contrasting picture, you see how quickly it just took um, the impression of what I don't want. And I just press the delete button. Oh, here it's tricked me again. This is something that will trick you quite often. We'll go Control D and let's work backwards for a moment. Let's make a second copy by going Command J. Now Shift Command E will make those two layers that we just made then into one and it will turn a non-editable object into an editable object. So now we can edit this. So now I can come back in and I can click there and just drag and see how it just fills up the whole space with the uh, marching ants and Click delete, and there we've got a really good, clean cut of um, the silhouette of Steve's body. And do it again at the top there, and you'll see you've got a nice clean edge again. Click delete. Come over to the other side. Click delete when you select a bit. Click delete. Select again. Now you see because we've got different colors coming in, it's going to get harder. But let's drag it and see what happens. We're still going pretty good, so let's click delete again and come down and look it's done a beautiful silhouette of his whole body well chosen uh, now go um, command D to deselect that and now take the cursor and put it in the space where his uh, arms have created those triangles up to his head and see just one click but look down at the bottom of his neck it's actually taking away a little bit of his neck so get the option key and we're holding the option key down just click there and you see it takes it out of the selection. Now that we've got the selection right, we can go delete again. We'll come over the other side, do the same thing. And it looks like it's pretty good, so we'll go delete again. So there you have it. That's how we use the quick selection tool, um, because that would have been a very hard line to draw. Now you'll see there's, it's, a, it's a slightly uh, pixelated edge. That's because this image has been downloaded from the internet. It's a very small image. 
and uh, the pixels are quite large in it to make it easy to download and so that when it gets downloaded it, it's not using a huge download allowance. That's why we're getting that effect there. Um, you wouldn't put a line on that. I'll show you what happens when you put a line on that. You go to the effects and you put a stroke on it and it, see how it's all crooked? And it's really ugly and it just, uh, see how over here we've got those, that's one of the overlays that didn't get deleted in our um, selection. So let's go okay to that, but that gives us the opportunity to come here and clean this up. We can come in there and we've got, we've got, yeah, see how we've cleaned that up now? That's a good trick to remember. Put an outline around it and click up where the outline shows all the dirty pieces. Okay, so let's go back into our effects and let's take the outline off because we don't want it. Now, oh, remember, we're going to put this over some video and so we'll go Command D to deselect it and we're going to save it as a PNG because remember, a PNG will take a drop shadow or an edge. Now, in this case, we haven't done a drop shadow, so maybe we will add a drop shadow just so when we do put Steve over a video, we're going to have uh, him stand out nicely. And I'd take that up to about 12 pixels and click OK. Now, go File, drop down menu, Save As. And in the Save As menu, Steve Solomon PSD. Yes, we'll save him as a PSD. But let's also now come back and go Steve Save As. And this time, we're going to go Steve Solomon and we're going to save him as a PNG. And what I want you to do with this is I want you to save it to your desktop. The other one's been saved to downloads because I didn't specify, but for you in this exercise, I want you to save it to your desktop. Click Save. Okay, there we are. We don't want it interlaced. And that's how you use the Quick Selection tool. Very simple, really. I've been David Smuha.